Welcome back. Well, Ford is saying it's now delivered the new F-150 Lightning to drivers in all 50 states. The new all-electric truck is sold out across the country for the year, and it may be a pointed sign of the times as well. News Nation has been tracking the growth of electric vehicles. We exclusively toured Ford's main plant in Michigan, and correspondent Paul Gerke is tracking this story for us. Paul, the F-150 is such a quintessential American car, and it seems like every single state is showing high demand for EV these days. Yeah, Natasha and Ford is now claiming more than 10% of the EV space. It seems like just yesterday we were in Dearborn at the Rouge Electric Vehicle Center for the launch of the F-150 Lightning. The first day they started selling it to customers, talking to auto workers there about this EV revolution and what it was really like to be on the cutting edge of this industry. The first customers started getting their trucks in late April. Today, Ford announced they have finally been uh, delivered to all 50 states. That includes Alaska and Hawaii. The company says this happened on its own. It's not something the folks at Ford necessarily intended. And that makes sense considering the gas-powered F-150 has been the best-selling vehicle in the U.S. for the last 40 years. Its electric counterpart has proven wildly popular, completely sold out in 2022, and Ford has stopped taking reservations for it, opening them up in waves instead. The most F-150 uh, Lightnings have been delivered out to California and to Texas, which to me, Natasha, is a pretty good indicator as to why these trucks are so highly anticipated. They're attractive not only to a typical EV driver, like out in California, but to fans of a classic truck who are tired of paying high gas prices. Back on that visit to the Rouge plant, I spoke with Brian Palmer, a third generation shop worker with 27 years under his belt. He initially doubted the electric model would be so popular but eventually placed his own order. This truck has proven me wrong in every facet. You know what I mean? Once you get in, once you drive it, you know what I mean? You will become a believer, I guarantee it. You take some pride in watching one of your babies go off to school? Absolutely. Yeah. I know somebody else is about to get Christmas when they get this truck. Ford has had to increase its uh, production capacity a few times. They initially only planned uh, to pump out about 40,000 of the F-150 Lightnings, but since they've moved that target, at last check, the company hopes to be making about 150,000 trucks per year by the middle of next year. Natasha? All right, Paul, thank you. growth of electric cars and here to talk about that is Jason Trumbull. He is the Ford F-150 Lightning marketing manager. Jason, welcome. Thank you for having me. You know, we just heard about the F-150 Lightning be being delivered to drivers in every U.S. state, uh, most popular in Texas and California. So what do you think the demand says about Americans and their attitudes about electric vehicles these days? Yeah, this is a big deal. So well over a year ago, we revealed F-150 Lightning. At that time, we took reservations and we were blown away with our response. We had reservations all 50 states, so that it's not just truck country, it's not just the coastal markets. And, and as you mentioned, we announced that within 12 months, we have now customer deliveries in, in basically all 50 states. Yeah, and I think what's so interesting about the F-150, I think, is the place that it holds for many Americans, right? It helped launch Americans wanting trucks instead of cars. It started maybe as a kind of workhorse, but quickly evolved into kind of a whole lifestyle for many Americans, definitely associated with the kind of ruggedness. Were you surprised at the way Americans have embraced the electric F-150? And, and also, could I ask, what would you say makes it different from other EVs like the Rivian R1T? Yes. So early on, it had to be a truck. And what's really great about that Bay Lightning is we were able to deliver towing and hauling. And really for that, it was core truck customers. It does the job that they need. Do you think the electric capability will catch up eventually to be able to do that sort of heavy duty towing? And can you give us even a rough estimate of how long that might take? Yeah. So we're really seeing development technologies and basic batteries. And it's all about efficiency. So to make the truck more aerodynamic, as well as the battery density, is key. And we really think that that uh, that would be great in, in the future. All right, Jason Trumbull, we certainly appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.